you got to think about it. Dame, Dame is a great businessman. He was a great businessman. He's still a great businessman. He didn't really make fucked up decisions. You know what I'm saying? As far as business wise, or you know what I mean? From from my perspective, drugs ain't taking shit. He wasn't chasing his balls like, like know what I'm saying? It wasn't females. It wasn't all of this other shit. It really was. Investing in the wrong people. It really was believing in the wrong people, bro. That nigga made solid. If you want to think of investments, the nigga invested in and gave shots to who? Kanye West, Lee Daniels, Jay Z, fucking Kevin Hart. I mean, him and Jay kind of did it together. You know what I'm saying? But he assisted in in in. You know what I mean, and was a big, huge part of Jay's success. And with all of those three people, he gave them people their first looks. And like, you know what I'm saying. These people went on top of the field. These are damn near billionaire status people now. These people are very successful. That was great investment. He just didn't get no return on it because none of those people was loyal. And that's the fucked up part. So so all y'all talking shit and and, and and it's crazy because a lot of niggas want to drag name and then y'all want to speak up on these same principles. I right, look out for people who do this and do that. But you got to have dis discretion, man. Without discernment, you just looking out for people, giving people shots because they talented and look what happened. You waste your prime years and all of your energy into helping other people pop, thinking it's going to reciprocate, thinking that y'all got something together, thinking because that's good business and you're a businessman, you're using your skills to open up doors. What niggas do? Get to the next level and be like, ah, fuck this nigga. Now niggas are sitting back and seeing the Steve Stout nigga. Yeah, Dame selling this shit. He doing this and doing that. Yeah, because y'all niggas, that mission accomplished. If niggas going to hate on you, and steal your resources and, and and take your energy and your juice and then sit back and be like, look at son, he fucked up now. Look at him now. He's selling shit. He buy like, that's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I still believe in Dame. Though. He could do something else, you know what I mean? Business is business. But at his prime, at his strongest point, making his mark, he put a lot of people on it. And, and, and you know I mean, so just let this be a lesson, kids. People is a bad investment sometimes. I don't want to say that blatantly like that because you do got to look out for people and you want to love that neighbor, right? This is what God teaches. But you got to have discretion. You got to have discernment. You got to understand who you helping. You got to understand people's motives. That's why I don't fuck with nobody that that God ain't, that don't put God first. If you're not, if your morals ain't aligned with mine, I don't give a fuck if we can make a billion together. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want that billion. I'm not interested in that. And we got to start thinking like that, man. We got to have morals. We got to have priorities, man. And we got to have discretion, discernment. That's what Solomon prayed to the Most High for wisdom so he could discern amongst his people. And that's why the Most High was so pleased. So let's have some discretion, some wisdom. Move accordingly. Peace, y'all. Bon Simmons, talk to these lame-ass niggas, dog.